Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back. I wanted to show you guys my team because I'm going to go ahead and sell uh, a bit of it. Um, I'm still getting on Madden every day, checking out stuff, playing a solo challenge maybe, but um, I just have, I don't have the time or the desire to really get into head-to-head -head seasons. Um, I played two games now and my guys can't hold on to the football. Uh, Barry's fumbling, everybody's fumbling, my receivers can't catch, Randy can't catch in head-to-head -head seasons, and I'm not throwing, like, stupid loft passes, I'm, like, throwing good passes with Brady and he just can't catch them. He gets poked and he drops the ball, and so I'm just gonna wait for tuning on the fumbles and all of that stuff, and I also want to wait on better solo challenges. I just, there's nothing here that appeals to me. This, no... Chronicles of a Long Shot. I'll get that done eventually once I finish Long Shot. These Gauntlet Unleashed, they're alright, but there's no Gauntlet cards I want, so I'm like, eh, I don't really care about these Gauntlets. And the rewards are pretty garbage. I mean, you get an 82 plus auctionable tradable card, or an 85 plus non auctionable tradable, but I don't want the non auctionable tradable crap. I just want packs, like, they've done it for years, I just want a pack, you know, give me a pro pack, and okay, hey, I pulled garbage out of it, that's fine, at least I had the chance to pull something else, I could sell it, anything like that, this, it's just a bummer, the non auctionable tradable stuff is just a bummer, I don't want this Devontae Adams, I don't have a use for it on my team, I'll finish these eventually, and get the Devontae Adams, but there's, these rewards are awful, like, I'm gonna get 11... Like 20, like 35k for the rest of this is, is fine, but it's not really good. These baby goats, I'm tired of doing these full solo challenges. Um, I will do them from time to time, but there's nothing really getting me excited to play any games on Mutt. So I thought I'd show you this team because I'm going to sell three of the cards. I'm going to keep the majority of the team, but I'm going to sell three of the cards because I'm just not playing any games with them to need them. So... Let's get into this. I really like this team. Um, I worked for like two hours last night building it and figuring out who I wanted and all of that stuff. So I activated max tier 3 chemistry, a blanket coverage, tier 3 chemistry, go deep, tier 2 of the Patriots, um, and then tier 1 of physical front, move the sticks, and the, and the Eagles. So on offense, we've got an offensive line of Nate Solder, Clint Bowling, uh, Greg Manx, or however you say his last name, Larry Warford and Rob Havenstein. Uh, not a crazy offensive line, but Bowling and Havenstein are non auctionable tradable, and they fit the chemistry that I wanted to do, so they fit in nicely. Uh, Zach Ertz also fits the chemistry, so that worked out really well. Uh, and then I went out and bought two receivers, Terrell Pryor and Tyreek Hill. Uh, Tyreek Hill for both punt and kick returns and to play... Uh, the slot, Terrell Pryor, uh, is a beast on the outside at 6'3". Um, pretty much plays just as well as the Megatron, who now slots in at the 4 because he doesn't have any chemistry. Uh, and then Randy Moss is the chemistry I want, and he stays as the number one wide receiver. So then we go to the running game. We still got Barry, James White, and Jalston Fowler. Uh, Fowler at fullback, obviously. And we've got uh, Barry... Still holding down the running back position, uh, even with his fumbles and whatnot. He's still a beast, but those fumbles really did kind of piss me off. Uh, moving on to the defense, uh, we've got the expensive cards that I'm going to sell. So at safety, I've got Devin McCourty and Eric Berry. They fit the chemistry I like, and I love both of the players. They're two of my favorite players in the NFL, so... Um, I was definitely happy to add them to the team, but they're going to get sold because I don't have a use for them right now. And maybe by the time they add some souls that I'm willing to really uh, sit down and grind and all of that different stuff, um, they'll come down in price maybe a little bit. Uh, so it won't be as much of a coin because Devin McCourty is about 300. I'll get about 300k back for him um, when he sells. Uh, Eric Berry, I'll get about 200k. And the other expensive card, Darius Slay, uh, another one of the cards, one of the players in the NFL I really like. Uh, I'll get about uh, 200k back from him when he sells. So it's about 700k between the three cards. So I'm going to sell them and then hope they come down a little bit in price. Or that something crazy comes out and people start ripping packs so that they'll come down in price. Um, just for a day or so. 
Um, and at the quarters, I decided to go to speed. So we got Anthony Brown and Rod Woodson. Their stats are a little bit worse than the Joe Hayden and the um, uh, Jimmy Smith that I had on my team. But I believe their speeds at 88 make up for their lack of uh, man and zone coverage and press. Uh, I think they... They play perfectly fine, and Rod Woodson even is the chemistry that I use. Uh, same with Stefan Gilmore. That worked out well, the gauntlet card. Uh, DeForest Buckner, I, you know, I had him and Trey Flowers and Alan Branch. Uh, Alan Branch fit the Patriots, and then Trey Flowers uh, also fit the Patriots, and then DeForest Buckner fit the chem that I wanted. Uh, Malik Jefferson was a buy. He fit the chem that I wanted, uh, moving Brandon Williams to backup. Miles Garrett still holding down the backup. Uh, uh, end spots uh, for the linebacking core. We've got Telvin Smith, just an absolute beast, and I'm extremely happy he fit the chemistry that I wanted too. I actually didn't pick the chemistry until I saw that Dev McCordy and Darius Slay were the chemistry, and then I was like, oh hey, I have Telvin Smith, and I have Stefan Gilmore, and I have DeForest Buckner. Like I had all the makings for the chemistry, so I was like, okay, we'll go ahead and do that. Ray Lewis holding down the middle with Singletary backing him up. Singletary is even the chemistry, so that works out actually really nice. Um, that he actually gets the uh, chemistry. Nigel Bradham, he'll get swapped out for the level, I believe it's like 23 or 26 pack or whatever, um, includes him in it at non-auctionable tradable. I'll sell him, but for now he holds it down as the auctionable tradable one. And then the special teams. We got Donnie Jones and Zerline still, nothing special here, but Tyree Kill and John Ross hold down the return spots with Champ no longer actually playing corner. He's the fifth corner, so he doesn't really see any action. He is the chemistry that I want, which is nice, but uh, he doesn't have the speed and stuff that I want. So he doesn't actually play, and so he holds down the uh, the third kick return and putt return spot. But guys, that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll show you the prices real quick here on those three cards, uh, and then I will... Um, I'll still be doing my update videos, letting you guys know new content and all of that stuff. Weekends are a little crazy with me with football and all of that different stuff, but uh, during the week, I promise I'll get out update videos, letting you know what the new content and going in depth with it. But there's the Devin McCourty going for 329, uh, so I'll post him for like 325, so I'll get about 290 something back for him. Uh, Darius Slay here, uh, cheapest one 240, uh, but I'll probably sell him for around 228. Or somewhere around that because that's really where he goes. Even sometimes comes down to around 200k. And then Eric Berry, cheapest one up, 229. That's about where he settled. Uh, and so that's probably around where I'll sell him for. But guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys understand my kind of frustration with online. And I've never been an online player. So I kind of like my experience online to go fairly well and stuff like that, and it just isn't right now. Uh, and this isn't like a solo complaint. Lots of people have this complaint. And so, I don't know. I've never been a huge online player uh, in the peak years where I was playing Madden all the time. I think I averaged like 50 or 60 games online total. Uh, so, obviously not a huge player. And then solo challenges really are my thing. I love solo challenges. When they give rewarding rewards, even if I don't pull anything, if I get a legend pack and hey, I don't pull anything, but someone else has someone else did it It, it just makes it interesting for me. Um, and so that's just my opinion, but guys That'll do it for the video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out